All right, guys, it's official. 2018 is officially a wrap, and man, what a year has it been for flight tests, and that's all thanks to you guys. We couldn't thank you guys enough for being here. It's been a crazy year for not only flight tests and for the community, but also for myself personally. It really just blows my mind to look at where we are now. We've had the privilege of working with a ton of amazing partners. We've done two flight fests this year. Our own personal product line has grown so much, we came out with our own brushless RC motors. Best of all is the exciting news about our new location that was made possible by all of you guys out there. We bought a golf course. And we're gonna be moving there this year. They're actually working on it today. As we speak, right down about 30 minutes south, they're putting up walls so we can open it to the public and hang out with you guys. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a look back at our favorite memories from 2018. And we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek into what's coming in 2019. Come on. A dream that's been honestly in my heart over five years came to reality thanks to you guys and that was Edgewater Air Park came to existence. In case you guys don't know, we did this crazy crowdfund to fund a dream of mine to actually give flight test a home. Not just for us here working at the shop making videos, but for the whole entire community. We oftentimes talk about flight fest, how it's like a family reunion, getting together. I don't want that to be once, twice, or three times a year. I want it to be on your schedule. When we're doing content and we're fellowshipping with friends and family. That's when really the magic happens. We now have a home for flight test, but also a home for you guys to fly at. So 2019 is gonna be when that becomes a reality. Right now our headquarters is being built. In March, we're going to be starting the runways. We have sponsors for those runways to put some world-class amenities in there. I can't wait to look out my office window and seeing families connecting, making memories, laughing together. And also, I can't wait to join in the fun with our whole team. One of the things that really was just an awesome way to cap off 2018 was actually going up, loading that huge tank on the back of John's truck, driving out with them, and not only having fun flying this sketchy project, but doing it with our, our community and family members. And it just gave me a small snapshot of what a blessing it's going to be to go into 2019 where we can not only do this content, but do it with you. One of the things that I loved about Flight Test before I started working here was the crazy projects. So I wanted to be a part of those. I started with a snow skimmer. I never intended to be on camera, but building that was so much fun. And something that I wanted to see as a viewer was the build process because I love the wonder of flight. It makes you feel like you can do anything. After I started working here and seeing how easy it was to build these crazy projects, I'm like, I want to tell you guys how we did it so you can be inspired too. So we've been mixing up our content a little bit. If you've noticed, we've been releasing at a different rate now. We're averaging somewhere around one video a week currently. That might change, but we're doing that because we are spending more time doing these large projects that are more inspirational and is getting more people in the hobby. I mean, in the last three months, we've had over 300,000 subscribers. We hit a million subscribers, which is amazing. Woo! It's meant a lot to us. And I think a big part of that is sharing our passion for building doing crazy stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yes! And we're gonna be doing more and more of that. Our vision for growing the hobby has only become more focused with our new content. And last year we also started a second channel, Flight Test Tech. That's where we're hosting all of our new educational resource and instructional content. So if you're wanting to get in the hobby or learn new things, go over to that channel. One project that I really wanna do that's above my head so I don't know if we'll be able to do it. A full-scale flying DeLorean that can like putts down the road and people think it's a real car from the distance and then hover it up and fly it off. I'm really excited for all the projects that we have coming up. Kind of my claim to fame now is the chairplane. That was a whole bunch of fun. And a lot of the crew were actually out on a meeting. We're like, you know what? We need to do something today. We need to make something fly. We need to make some household item fly. And just so happened that there we had rickety <laughs> Ikea chairs. We're like, you know what? I'm gonna make this thing fly. So uh, that's what happened. Right as before we're about to push it off into the wobbly yonder, Alex and Josh and y'all came back and gave us some pointers, which I think was really helpful to its success that it probably would not have flown if you guys had not come back and said a few things. It kind of was a fairly big year because 
I felt that Flight Test, myself, is actually the collaborations and the partnerships that we've been able to cultivate over the year. Obviously it's cool to partner with people, but what makes the partnership so vital is that it not only allows for us to be successful and drive this hobby forward, but usually we're working with partners that are also trying to push and drive this hobby forward. When we get to work with those partners, we're able to give content out for, for free to the community. So it's allowing kind of content and that side of flight test to kind of stand on its own two feet, which is really cool. I and mean, that's something that we're trying to kind of push forward in all of our aspects of business um, and on the channel and just flight test as a whole. To be able to come into 19 kind of after all the dust has settled is super exciting. 2018 was a busy year. For those of you who don't know, um, I do a lot of different things at flight test um, just related to the business, but this year I spent a lot of time on our store. And we made a big decision in 2018. We made a decision to partner with A-Main Hobbies to help us with logistics and fulfillment and the technology surrounding our store. Now they, we've kind of had the ability to kind of dial in and kind of focus on some things that we're kind of uniquely good at. And we're able to focus on some things that we know that you guys have wanted for a very long time. And so that's kind of created a lot of bandwidth where there previously was zero bandwidth, as I'm sure that uh, some people might be able to appreciate. This is, has enabled us at Flight Test to focus on some things such as product development and creating some flight test products that we're really proud of and we care deeply about and quite frankly, you guys have been asking for for quite some time. So now we have about 20,000 products that are available in our store and that's anywhere from a pack of barbecue skewers that you can use to scratch build your flight test planes to a 450 size aligned T-Rex helicopter and anywhere in between. So we really wanted to have our store be reflective of our growing community and that there's a lot of different ways that people experience flight and we wanted to be able to support that. So for me, 2018 was definitely a year of uh, growth, experimentation, transition, all in regards to our content. But I can't thank you guys enough for giving us a platform. It really is a privilege to do what we do. And there's not a day that goes by that we don't really think about that. We did uh, 114 videos, which is a little bit crazy to think back. We have a total of 1,051 videos now, which is just mind boggling over the past eight years that we've created and shared with you guys. And 2018 for sure was the year that I really feel that we've started to find our voice with the current team here at Flight Test. A couple favorite memories in 2018, uh, specifically in regards to content for me, was uh, just becoming more of a builder. A lot of you guys might know that historically, I never really considered myself a builder or a, a do-it-yourselfer. And 2018 was a big transition for me. I started pushing my comfort zone a little bit and stepping outside of my boundaries and build things for the first time. What I learned is that uh, when you really dive in and you just get your hands dirty and you start just gluing and slapping things together and polishing and make a mistake and then fix it and make it better, um, you're, it's really amazing. You'd be surprised what you can accomplish. And so just from my personal experience, I really encourage you guys to uh, get out there and just build something. Taking it from here into reality is, is such a powerful experience. So 2019 is gonna be an awesome year in terms of content. You're gonna see a lot more of DIY journeys like you've been noticing lately like the Fortnite plane, the giant flying tank, the A-10, stuff like that. We have a lot more stuff in store and we can't wait to share it with you guys. Crushing it, you guys rock, 2019, thank you. Thanks guys, see you at Flight Fest. I love you. You are awesome. Thank you for an amazing 2018. I can't wait to see you in 2019.